What's up, YouTube? We are back. C3 Garage Media. Hey, I'm in my uh, boy Jay's garage. We are uh, trying to get this thing sorted out. So, got the harness back from Boom Slang today. Um, as you can see, um, I got the harness back, have it installed, have everything in. You know, it's not pretty at the moment. I just want to have everything connected. AM's connected. I have the, uh, the base cal that Cars Performance put on there. Um, all I did was just dial the injectors back to uh, the stock injector size uh, versus the 550cc's in the uh, tuning table, which is pretty easy. And uh, we're going to start it and see if I can't uh, just get it idling again, and then I'm going to try to work on the noise cancellation in the software. I'll show you some of that, and, uh, you know, hopefully maybe we can get this thing running. I hope. At least idling would be nice. Watch media. Okay, so here's the story. Having so much problems with this car. Um, as you saw in my last video, I got it running marginally uh, with just the stock ECU and stock injectors. Well, I got my harness back from Boomslang. They went through it, said everything's okay. Um, so we reinstalled the harness sort of haphazardly at this point. I just have it literally just kind of connected in here. Um, I was unable to get the AM to work with the stock injectors. Uh, there just isn't uh, an injector profile in the Infinity for the stock 2JZ GE injectors. So, what am I in the process of doing right now? Is I've just gotten uh, the 550cc injectors back in. Just got the fuel rail secured. Um, and now, um, going to put everything back together. That I'm going to reconnect the Infinity. Um, use the car's base calibration and see if I can't get the noise cancellation in the cam and crank software uh, correct. So, see you soon. Alright YouTube, I'm stumped, I'm frustrated, so let me show you what's going on here. I'm in my AM software, you can see we have our cam duration. speed and what's happening is as soon as I get the car revving at about 2,000 rpms I lose my sync state between my cam and crank no idea why this is happening Uh, we're back at it again um, after many unsuccessful attempts to get the cam to sync using the AM software. Different tunes, different frequency adjustments, uh, we, we, we really tried everything. Um, no luck, I could only get it to rev to 3000 RPM. Um, so what I did... Um, based on a recommendation actually from AEM is I got an ECU um, from someone who I know has run um, on, on this setup so here it is I just have it sort of patched in and honestly just sitting there it's kind of ghetto but we'll see if it starts and runs After switching to a totally different stock ECU, we're still having the exact same problem. Let me show you. So looking at the AM software, you can see right now we have a good sync state. We have good ignition power, spark probability. You can see we have good cam duration, cam angle read, all of our lambda, engine speed, map, throttle air temp, fuel pressure, spark timing, and battery is reading as it should. Watch. 3000 RPM. Here, I'll show you here first. I'm not 
I'm not moving my leg, people. Watch here. I'm losing my sink state. I'm getting cam errors. I tried every frequency to control this, and I can't. I'm getting very old. <laughs>